In this fast-paced world, we want people to reply to our emails quickly. But we can't just write, hey, I need a reply now. So let's start looking at models to determine what phrases work well in personal and business email. Writing Email in English with Jennifer. Hey, Carla. I have a fun idea for Pauline's birthday. Let's surprise her with a trip to a spa. I just spotted a deal online for small groups. Basically, two pay full price and one gets in free. Here's the link. Are you up for it? Let me know what you think. The deal ends soon, so I'd need to book our appointment by tomorrow. Talk soon. Mariah. So what's good about this message? Mariah gets to the point and makes her suggestion immediately. She explains it concisely and then asks for a response. How does she ask? Look. Also, the time frame is clear. She needs a response by tomorrow. Hopefully, Carla will respond soon. When we send email, we often need a response, but it may or may not be urgent. You should let the reader know, as Mariah did in her message. Let's look at some other phrases we can use. We look forward to your response. Please respond by June 1st. Thank you. Could you please let us know by the end of the week? I look forward to your reply. I look forward to hearing from you. Looking forward to your reply. Let me know your thoughts. Can you get back to me later today? Let me know what you think. Hope to hear back from you soon. It's one thing to request a response. It's another matter when you've sent an email, but you're not sure if the person even received it. How do you handle that situation? Let's look at one model. Hi, Heather. Did you get the message I sent yesterday? I wanted to know if you're free to babysit the kids this Saturday evening. Hope to hear back from you soon. Thanks. Take care. Amy. Not every email we send gets an immediate response. If you're really counting on a reply, you might need to send a second message, as Amy did to her babysitter. Although you may feel frustrated over the fact that you didn't get a response yet, you can't become impolite and write something like, Hello, I'm waiting. That approach won't work very well. So here are some phrases you can use when you're not sure if your first message was received. I'm not certain if you received my previous message. I sent a message on Monday inquiring about your translation services. I wrote last week regarding rental equipment. Please confirm that you received the file. Did you receive my earlier message? Let me know if you didn't get the attachments. Did you get the message that I sent yesterday? I just sent you the link. Did you get it? We've seen some personal email messages. Now let's talk about business email. A business email message needs to sound professional, 
But professional doesn't mean overly formal. A business email can be polite but friendly. Let's look at a couple messages. Hello, Maya. How are you? I sent a message on Monday with my estimate attached, but I'm not certain you received it. Could you please confirm? I can resend the file if necessary. Looking forward to your response. Best, Mitchell. What I like about this message is that Mitchell is not laying any blame on Maya. He's just saying, maybe for some reason you didn't get the message. What can I do? Do I need to resend the message? Of course, we all know that an important message can end up in the spam folder. Let people know if that's the case, so they understand your delayed response. Hello, Mitchell. I'm glad you wrote again. I'm sorry for my late response, but your first message went to my spam folder. I found it, and now I have your estimate. Thank you. I'll be in touch soon with our decision. Best, Maya. Maya used this apology. Here are some other variations. I apologize for the delayed response. I'm sorry for not responding sooner. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you earlier. Sorry for the late response. I hope you found this useful. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.